So this is a revision video on eyepiece graticule calibration. So this is going to be slightly different from the usual revision videos. I will go through an explanation, then there are a couple of, of examples for you to try. So an eyepiece graticule uh, is used to be able to uh, allow someone observing a sample on a microscope to be able to find out the size of anything they are looking at. And in order to use that graticule, it must be calibrated against a micrometer that is present on the slide. So I'll take you through this. So on the slide, there will be what is called a micrometer. And this micrometer tends to have divisions that are equal to 10 micrometers. Um, so each of these divisions is equal to 10 micrometers. So at point 0.1, that means 0 to point 0.1, that measures 0.1 millimeters, and point 0.2, that's 0.2 millimeters, and so on. So on the micrometer, we know the measurements. But that is in a fixed position. So it's not convenient because it can't move around. It's only in one place. However, the eyepiece graticule, which is in the eyepiece, has divisions, it's arbitrary, but you will always be able to see it. So it's very convenient for measuring the size of objects. So the first thing you have to do, if you want to use the eyepiece graticule, is to calibrate it against the micrometer. Once you've done that, you can move around your sample anywhere and you will always be able to position that sample on the eyepiece graticule and take a measurement because you will know what each of those divisions uh, is equal to. So let's go through the calibration process. So you need to calibrate the eyepiece every time you're using the microscope for the first time or any time you're changing the objective lens to look at a different magnification. So this has to be done every time. So when you look down the objective lens you will always be able to see the graticule. And so what you want to do is move the slide around until you can position the micrometer on the slide next to the eyepiece graticule. So in this example, you can see that the stage micrometer is positioned uh, next to the eyepiece graticule. And so once you've done that, then you can start to calibrate it. So here, zero is positioned at 30 on the eyepiece graticule and point 0.1 is positioned at 50. So we know that from 0 to point 0.1, that's equal to 100 micrometers or 0.1 millimeters. So that must mean that from 30 to 50, those 20 divisions must also be equal to 0.1 millimeters or 100 micrometers. So now you can work out what one division is of the eyepiece graticule you simply divide 100 by 20. So now you know that one division on your eyepiece graticule is equal to five micrometers. And so now you can move around, you can look at all sorts of areas on the slide, and you will always have the eyepiece graticule in your vision, and you can now use that to measure anything you observe. You can just line up uh, any cells, for instance, against the eyepiece graticule and you can use that to measure the size. So let's look at an example. So I'm showing a blue object, could be a cell, could be anything. Uh, it's been lined up against the divisions on the eyepiece graticule. So can you calculate how big that object is? So we know that one eyepiece graticule scale is five micrometers. We did the calibration in the previous slide. So what that means is our object here is equal to 15 divisions from 20 to 35, and you can see on the eyepiece graticule. So 15 multiplied by five micrometers means our object is 75 micrometers in length. Let's look at another example. So how big is this object? So we've lined up at 70 
and it goes until about 76. So again, we've calibrated, we've not changed the magnification so we can stick with our original calibration. So we know one IP squareticule scale is equal to five micrometers. We've got six divisions, so it would be six multiplied by five. So the, the width of our object there is 30 micrometers. So that's how to calibrate uh, an IP squareticule. It is as simple as that. So it's just a case of lining up the divisions against the micrometer, working out what one division is equal to on the IP squareticule, and then lining up your objects and measuring them.